Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and... <laughs> and she doesn't know what she's saying. She lost her words. That's a first. <laughs> okay, I've done that before. But today, we have an awesome video for you. I'm so freaking excited for this one, and this is going to be great because this is 12 whiskeys. 12 whiskeys. Yeah, it that's is 12? 12. 12. 12. 12 whiskeys that we bought and then immediately we're like, holy crap, we gotta go buy backups. Some yep. of them were harder to buy backups of. I think most of them were. They were like, we're like, we gotta find yeah. a second one. Yeah. We need a second one. It was like crack for whiskey. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple on there. The first and last ones will be easier to find. Some are gonna be easier yeah. to find than others, but we know how it is. Like you yep. guys have tried a bottle you like, you enjoy it, and you're like, crap, I need to get a second one of this because I really enjoy it. And I can't have... finish this bottle until I get another one. Right, right. So yeah. it's a feeling we've all had. It's definitely like something we all do. So that's why we're going to tell you ours, our 12 bottles that we like rushed immediately to get. Also, by the way, just have to point out, yes, I still have a black eye. So if you notice it, yes, you know the story by now. I have a black eye. The dog gave me a black eye. But... I try to cover it up the best I could. So, there's that. Now, let's get into this. Cheers to you. Wait, what, we're both no, drinking. No, we're not going to say what we're drinking. We're it's, not going to say. Because it's, it's on this list. It's on this when list. When we get to it, we'll say. Oh, my God. But we're God. actually not drinking out of Glencairn's. I got a rocks glass, and you got the... I have the bourbon the, junkie the neat. neat glass. Yeah. I actually like this glass. Yes, what? I? I like the port. I, it's heavy. I just haven't drank out of a rocks glass in a long time, so I've... Did that yesterday? Did that today? Yeah. Well, like we told you before, it doesn't, doesn't matter, matter what you drink out of. You're still gonna have the. You're still gonna taste the whiskey. The and there's same. an expensive whiskey in this one. It is an expensive one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, cheers to you guys. Cheers to you. Let's do this. Mm. All right. You want to start? All right. So the first. Because you're the one that found this bottle first. Oh yeah, this is a great bottle. Yeah. So actually, I'm gonna our, tell the we're story. We're our second one of these. So I'm gonna tell the story first. Well, pull because, the bottle out. Then. No, then I'll tell the story. Out. Hold on, first I have to tell the story. So okay. I was at a liquor store and I saw this bottle and I swear to you, I heard Jason from Mash and Drum like be like, "Oh, this is a good bottle. Like, don't sleep on this one." And I was like, "Okay, maybe." I think it was like in his whiskey of the year or something. I don't Not what the it was. whiskey of the year. It was something. Anyway, I saw him talking about it or heard him talking about it and I was like, "I gotta pick one of these up." So. I picked it up and I come home and Bill's like, what is that? Like, what did you buy? And I'm like, Jason talked about it. He said it was good. It's a barrel strength. It might be good. And so then we cracked it open and for 45 bucks, you can't freaking go wrong. And that one. And they're all wondering what it is. It's Blue Note Juke Joint. I've talked about this for, before. Uncut, unfiltered. Yep. Uncut, unfiltered. This one comes in at 100 and. 17. 117 proof. This is our second bottle of it. It's so freaking good. It's 45 I, bucks. I may have chugged the last one we had on a live stream and I got a little inebriated. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's really good. And honestly, I think this is a great alternative to Stag Jr. Mm. I said that. It's, it is. It, I mean, obviously you're not going to be mm. real. Re you're not going to be able to replace Stag Jr. But this is a great bottle. You can find it nearly everywhere. Like a I think you can. Is there a certain video that we did recently that might have been with this? Yeah, alternatives to allocate. No. No, it was, a, it was a Tuesday video that had this. And it didn't have Stag Jr., but it had something else in it. ECBP. Yeah. Hopefully that video came out before this. But Yeah, but also we did one that we said yeah. this was a good alternative yeah. to allocate it. This, yeah, it is. This was it, in our alternative to allocated yeah, video. Yeah. So this is a good one. Anyhow, we bought, I bought this one. I came home, we tried it and we're like, holy shiz, this is good. And we immediately went and bought a backup of it. This is a different, different, uh, single barrel. Or this was a two barrel, barrel blend. Yeah. The other one we have is a single barrel, but, the, uh, just a different pick is what we got. Yeah. I like the other pick better. So do I. This one's still good. This one's the other still pick was good, better though. The other pick was definitely better. So honestly, they're all really good. Yep. I can't wait to buy another. <laughs> yep. Anyhow, okay, that's the first one. One of 12. Wow, we right. got Boise. Um, number I'm gonna two. I'm going to pull up the next one. You pull up This is what we're drinking. Ah. Uh, you uh, say the name. I can't ever. Calumet. Calumet. 16. The, oh, this is going to freaking win whiskey Calumet of the year. Calumet 16. It's, it's so good. I think this is going to be whiskey it's of the so year. It's so good. We were just talking before this video because we have we put a good heart on this bottle. We have one more sitting here. And I was like, okay, you need to go buy another one now because we we're probably going to finish this within the next week. 
It's just so freaking yeah, good. And I don't find any way possible that this doesn't finish in the top oh, it'll be in the three top whiskeys possibly. of the year. Yeah. This is going to be top three whiskey of the year for every freaking channel. Probably. Every channel. You're going to see it everywhere. Every channel it's is so going to be like, this is with a whiskey of the year, or this is in the top three whiskeys, whiskeys of the year. Note this, mark this, put this down in your calendar so you can come back to it in December. Or, I mean, not December because we're all doing Advent. But in January, mark it down and be like, okay, she was right. Everybody pick this in their yep. top three whiskeys of the year. Not even top five, top three. So this is a great one. Great proof, great flavor, great oakiness. It's just it's awesome. It's good bargain that's all, that's, sourced whiskey. That's all, all there is to say about it is I awesome. love it. I love it. It's awesome. Okay. And we bought it, loved it, and we bought another one, and we should have bought another one, and another one, and another one. Buy them all. Luckily, we can at least find them right now. So. You can. It's kind of like Pokemon. Gotta catch Gotta them all. Gotta catch them all, yes. <laughs> you literally have to catch them all with that, this bottle. That, that's called bourbon. Gotta catch them all. It is. I want this one. I want this one always. I wouldn't be sad. And it's only 106 proof, yeah. which is bizarre to me because normally I like the barrel proofs. Yeah. I love this it's one. Good. It's so good. So good. Okay. Now what? Next pick up. Pick one. Just pick. We're, these are in no particular order. We just have a random assortment here. Here we go. Grab one and go. Old Forester Single Barrel Barrel Strength. So. No. It says it. Yeah. What type of barrel strength? Is that a bourbon or a rye? It's a rye. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Old Forest or Single Barrel, Barrel Strength Rye. Whoa, that's a lot of words. Uh -huh. Okay, so I will be honest with you. When I first tried this one, I was like, mm, not super into this. And Bill's like, this is so fucking... Uh-oh. This is so good. Effing good. And Bill said, this is so good. I love it. I can't wait to find another one of it. And I was like, I'm not so sure. And then I did it in a blind uh -huh. on a live stream. I think you did. I don't remember. Or it was somewhere. I did yeah. it in a blind, some some kind of blind. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is really good. And then I went back to it. I'm like, oh, we need to get another bottle. But how are we going to find another bottle of this? Well, we found one. We found <laughs> one, but it just, it took work. And we paid MSRP for it. For both of them. For both of yep. them. So this is a good one. It's a great one. I like it much better than the single barrel barrel shank bourbon. Uh, it's been a while since I've had that, but I mean, it's rye bourbon different. It's different. And we've only had one pick of the single barrel bourbon. Right, which I think we, it's need good. To, we need to get a different one. But this one is like one we wanted to go find another one, and both single barrels have been good. Oh, yeah. Both have no, been great. We haven't opened up the other one of this. Oh. Why am I losing yeah. my mind? Okay. It's a backup. It's a backup. We haven't finished this yet. Okay, fine. It's a backup. But we finished half a bottle in like a very short amount of time. Oh. When can, when you can while. compare all the other bottles that we have? Okay. What? You ready for the next one? Yeah, that was awkward. It was just <laughs> awkward. <laughs> it was just All awkward. Right. Okay. I'm going to go Irish. Irish. PX. Irish. O-M. Red Breast PX. This is so so freaking good. Don't sleep on this. Like, one. what do you do? No, no. Oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah. Found this. We finally found one of these. We, we knew they were out for a while. Found one. Actually, I know. I think I found four of them sitting on the shelf, and I picked up two of them right off the bat. So I didn't even wait to try it. I just bought multiple. Mm, yeah. It's it's so freaking. You know what good. that tastes like to me? Deliciousness, nectar of the gods. It is, but it literally tastes like to me like sweet oaky raspberry cake. Like it's like vanilla cake with oh, yeah. a layer of um, raspberry in it. It's just oakiness. Oh, yeah. It's so. It's so good. Like it's with like, a cigar, it's really good. Yeah, I have. Uh, I think you had a live stream recently that I was out in the patio. Drinking some of this, smoking a cigar. But you really like the sherry or the finished. I do like sherry finished whiskeys, whiskeys. But this one is really, really good. Like I, I loved this. Like I was like, oh my, mm -hmm. good lord! For an Irish whiskey, like depending on what you get, it's hit or miss for me. But this one is dang good. Yeah, yeah. Love it. So yeah, Love red breast PX. Okay. So good. So good. Okay, next up, can we stick with Irish then? Sure, go for it. Okay, we're going to stick with Irish. It's the last Irish. It's the last Irish. There are only two Irish in here. But honestly, yeah. these are my two favorite Irish whiskeys. Okay. Well, I think. put it up there. Blue Spot! Yeah. Blue Spot is delicious. Blue Spot is so dang good. And it's so funny because when we first started in, like, when I first started into my whiskey journey, Blue Spot was one of those that I was like, that's my unicorn. Like, I, I really want this one. I really want to try it. And then we went to Wyoming and we found one. Yeah, they had four on the shelf and we bought one of them. We should have bought more. We, we should have bought more. But to me, 
this is like pineapple and sweet with a good amount of spice and it goes perfectly this is the perfect whiskey to drink with pineapple pepperoni pizza pineapple no it's a Hawaiian pizza pineapple and ham and then you have a little bit of jalapenos on, eh, I don't know about jalapenos well, and whiskey yeah but. you're right Ooh, but seriously though okay fine that's you're right but like literally to me this she said is it, like I'm right I did say it for once that he was right because I was like pineapple and pepperoni, but it's actually pineapple and ham. It's definitely that Hawaiian pizza that goes perfectly with this. Don't knock it till you try it because I'm guaranteeing you when you try this whiskey with a freaking Hawaiian, Hawaii, Hawaiian pizza, yeah, it does have that but, pineapple note to it. I love it. I like, I never even really liked pineapple pizza until I tried this. You know what else should be on that Hawaiian pizza, which has the ham and pineapple? Jalapeno. Bacon. Yep. Oh, she just lost subscribers on that one. That face, don't just, she doesn't like bacon. But that's good for me because then I get the extra bacon. That's why we're getting married because yeah. he gets my bacon and I get his tomatoes and pickles. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of tomatoes. I'll eat pickles every once in a while. But yeah. I usually get them. Yeah, I like pickles by themselves. I don't like them on stuff. Okay, well, what just anyway. matter? That's a good bottle. That's one that we rush to get a backup of as soon as we can find one. Okay. I'm going to save that one for close to last. Um, let's go this one. Penelope Light Whiskey. Penelope Light Whiskey. It's so good and it's honestly. It's light whiskey. It's vanilla. It's vanilla. It's vanilla. <laughs> creme brulee. Yes. Vanilla cupcake creme yeah. brulee. It's so freaking good. This is great. But this is our first bottle. We have another one. So yeah. It's... We got it. But you know what I love about this is it's great for blending too. So if Light whiskeys. Yeah, it's a base for a lot of blends. It's a really great whiskey to blend others. Because I want to practice blending and I want to learn how to blend. And to me... This light whiskey has been great for practice. I wouldn't necessarily blend this because it's hard to find. There's some other light whiskeys you can find a little easier. Right. But it's but. so good. I love what... I mean, obviously, it's MGP sourced whiskey, yep. but... I think this is 13. Yeah, yeah, 13. It's so good. Copper Sky has a really good one, too. But this is one we got and we were like, holy shit. Yep. It's good. Delicious. So it's good. Delicious. Creme brulee, vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. Mmm. Mmm. And I love it. I don't, what did this one come in at? One twenty-eight point four. So not crazy proof. I think we have a we have another light whiskey. It's sixteen or seventeen years. It's like one. It, it's, I think a it's, around, it's around one forty. It's a seventeen year one forty proofer. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But this so. is so good. This is ah, oh, I love Penelope. Okay, that doesn't matter. Next one, I'm gonna go with. Go this for one. it. Next one, it's going to be of sugar plums and fairies in magical Christmas time stories. Bum, jingle Santa! Bells. I know him! Yes! This is my favorite movie, Elf! And when we're talking about Elf, there's nothing I okay. want to drink more than Midwinter's Night You hide the bottles for so long. Yeah, because I get so excited. I freaking love High West Midwinter's Night da dra Dam. <laughs> Midwinter's Night Dam. <laughs> damn, that's good. That's what you say at the end of the night after you drink a bunch of it. Damn, I drank too much. <laughs> <laughs> Midwinter's Night Dam. <laughs> Sourced by High West. <laughs> No, this is a great bottle. This is Midwinter's Night Dram, Act 9, Scene 2. Comes in at 98.6 proof. Love it. Freaking delicious. Are you sure? No, it says, are you sure right there. That's why I said that. See? Yeah. <laughs> We're sure. We bought this one and then immediately tried to rush to find a backup. Yep. And we got lucky. We found one. But... I actually think we got it home, tried it, and I think we got a backup the next day or two days later. Yeah. So it Quit was... peeling the label. Can't ADD. Stop it. Can't stop. Can't stop. Can't stop. No, hands away. <laughs> stop. Give you a black eye. Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway, we are super excited to go to Utah to do our trip to get the next batch of Midwinter's Night Dram. Yeah. Hopefully, they hope, we don't know when, exactly when it's coming out. They say October, and yeah. we're going to go in October. So When we're in going. October? Well... Who knows? <laughs> Our guess is the first weekend, but we don't know. So we're super excited for the next next batch. It just literally to me, I don't even know what a sugar plum tastes like, but it tastes like sugar cookie and dark fruit and just baked goods and it's just spice and delicious. I love Midwinter's Night Dram. It is good. It goes so good with snow. And yes, sometimes yeah. in Colorado you get snow. And I literally, like, I'll Sometimes start a fire. Sometimes in Colorado you get snow? Well, I mean, like, in the fall. In the fall. <laughs> like, a lot of other places don't necessarily get early fall snows. Yeah. Like, the average first snowfall in Denver is October 17th. Okay. So, generally here, we, like, last year, we got the latest first snowfall ever. This year, 
or I mean the year before that, we got one in September. So we're right there. Yeah. Could get snow, could be starting a fire in the living room, sipping on me. I can't wait. I can't wait. I love this photo. I went off on a dare tangent and he's just like, I love this girl, so I'm just gonna let her go and like smile at her and tell her she's pretty, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Anyhow, yeah, okay, yeah. well let's move on to our next part. We're getting closer to the end. Okay. I'm gonna go with this one. Just because mm. yep. Do you know what number one? No clue. I don't even know. We're just pulling bottles. We have 12. We just know so. if we pulled a duplicate bottle. Disco 7. Not Disco 6. Not Disco 8. If we had Disco 4, we would say Disco 4. But nope, this is Disco 7. If we had Disco 4, we would like Maybe have we like... we would have hoarded them. We would have hoarded them and we would have begged. We yeah. still don't have one. So yeah, Disco 7. It's a more recent one. I can still find it on shelves. I can still find 6 on shelves. You like 6 more than 7. I like 7 more but than 6. But I still like 7. It's still and... great. As soon um, as it's we, classic we, we bourbon. We do like it more than eight, which is out right now. Nine comes out soon. For now. Um, but uh, this one bought a backup bottle, and as you can see, we're going to have to break into it fairly soon. I love so. this, and I honestly think this is a great classic bourbon. It just tastes like caramels and it's cinnamon and vanilla. I mean, it's a blend of whiskey, but yep. it, tastes like a, it tastes like a classic bourbon. It tastes like deliciousness. It does. But what I really want is this go for I'm curious to see, ooh, look at you. I'm curious to see how it does in a blind. Like, I can't wait for the next, like, I'm going to do a Good blind. Good thing you got another bottle. We just don't have six. I think we poured a two-ounce sample of six before. We ran out. Ran out, yeah. But I think I need to get another bottle. Yeah, we've, I think we saw some yesterday. I we? just think that six is, like, more of a cherry bomb, and I think seven is more of your, like, a balanced whiskey, like, a balance it tastes more like a classic bourbon but it's about it's a, a blended whiskey so anyhow it's good we like it it's delicious and we bought a backup oh yeah so good i'm still on cal you so cal you met 16 yeah i crushed that one i'm trying to not crush i mean it this one's i think crushable too 114.5 yeah. no that's it's, not it's really about 10 crushable. more than that it's not so, yeah disco seven that's good okay now, I'll go with another one that I freaking cannot oh, get yeah. enough of. Go for it. Oh, hold on. I want to finish this. Oh. Mm. No, I'm not going to finish that. I'm going to savor it. I'm going to savor it. Yeah, we got a lot there. Next up, Remus 5. Holy sh... Wow, that was aggressive. Okay, but <laughs> Remus Repeal Reserves 5. We freaking love these. We, this have, is we have one, two, four, and five. We've tried three. We got a sample of three, but we, have, we don't have a three. I think we finished like two, four, five. I don't know. No, we've, we finished a bottle of five. No, I this mean ranking. A... I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I'm I don't remember. To... This is our second bottle of five, and we do have another bottle of five. <laughs> five is so good, but now I'm like nervous about finding six because it literally comes out. Yeah. Well, when this video comes out, six is already out. Maybe. No, it will be. September 1st, it comes out, and this oh. video is coming out on. Aww. Aww. I'm going hunting. I am. No, you're going... Oh, I'm going hunting, hunting. You're going whiskey hunting. You're going bow and arrow, and yeah. I'm going whiskey hunting. Well, when I get back, there better be a plethora, a plethora, I said plethora, of whiskey here. I think it's I'm like a go plethora to... of piñatas. Ooh, maybe Anyone I'll know just... what that is? Maybe I'll take a road trip to Wyoming and you see what I get. You can do whatever you want. You know what? That sounds like a good idea. I was going to go hiking, but who wants to go hiking on Labor Day weekend? Not this good. Mainly because of the crowds. Oh, okay. that's so good. Back to Remus. Sorry, Five. I'm drinking that Disco 7. <sighs> Okay, back to Remus 5. This is a low proof, f freaking crushable. Oh, yeah, it's crushable. So delicious. Such a classic bourbon. This is the Wait. classic quintessential bourbon. It's all MGP. MGP is so good. Oaky, it's Indiana. sweet, vanilla. <laughs> Bam! You just got a black eye. Mm. You just want to swig out of every single bottle. Remus on the 5 table, don't is you? like the perfect warm up pour. Mm, it's got a good amount of sweet. I thought Blanton's was a warm-up pour. No, this is way That's better. That's the one we rushed out to get another bottle. That may be on this table. This is way it's better not. than Blanton's. Yeah. Like, significantly better than Blanton's. Yeah. And you can find it better, and it costs less money. Now, actually, I don't know that's if you can true. find Remus Five. And honestly, more. and that's not true because you can't find it because it's like literally a yeah, hundred bucks. You can come across it. It's Just about like we randomly bucks. came across a one last year. 
It's about a hundred bucks. Came across it. This video is so long. Yeah, let's continue on. Okay. Sorry guys, we love you. Okay. We're just having fun. Okay, moving on. So the next bottle we have. So this let's one. do that. You do that one. Yeah, next that up. One. Oh, I freaking, okay. I have to tell you guys this one. I'll bring it up in a second. But I dogged on Knob Creek so hard. She did. I was like, oh, I don't she like Knob Creek. dogs on everything so hard. I was like. She's like, I don't want to try that. I don't like that. I don't like the no, name. No, I will try everything. Remember the Four Roses incident? And now you love Four Roses. I love Four Knob Roses. Knob Creek incident. You love Knob Creek. But now I was Wait, also I already like, said what it is. Well, it's a Knob Creek. Well, I said Knob <laughs> Creek too. But I was like, Adriana from Whiskey Mountains loves Knob Creek. Like, what is she thinking? And now I know. I know. Yeah. It hit me. Freaking Knob Creek is so That's how dang. bottle goes. Like that. Knob Creek 12. I know, but I just got really excited and I was like, bam! You always get excited. You put the bottle backwards or sideways. Knob Creek 12 is so freaking good. I want Knob Creek 15. I want Knob Creek 18. I want every Knob Creek. I want all the Knob Creek single barrels. So good. So rich with flavor. She likes the knob. <laughs> Slav on my knob like corn really? on the cob. <laughs> really? You went that way with it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you said she likes the knob. You, you could have said just, I like the corn. Just left it that. You could have been like, I like the corn. Okay. <laughs> wow. This got out of are PG. Are you team Dara or are you team? This got out of PG. <laughs> Good thing this video is not made for kids. Okay. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah. I love Knob Creek 12. It's delicious. It's so full of flavor. 100 proof, though. Like, I was mind blown that I liked this so much for 100 proof because normally I like higher proofs. This we, is so crushable. We did try cash drink one of this recently. Oh. Give it to me every day. Yes. Yeah, that was delicious. <laughs> it's so good. This is one we, as soon as we got, we had to try to find a backup. In some states, it's actually oh, easier I, than others. Missouri, we found it everywhere. I think that's where we have our, got our backups from. Because here in Colorado, it's hard to find. Um, but in Missouri, I was... Every grocery store had it. In Colorado, it was like literally allocated everywhere. Yep. It was an yep. allocated list. Yep. Ridiculous. Distribution is stupid. The only thing I hate about Knob Creek is their damn corks. The wax. The wax and their corks are just like, try to pull that cork off with, it's such a small one. That's what she said. That's not what she said. I didn't say <laughs> Okay. Anyhow. We're we done with Knob Creek 12. We're done with the knob. Yep, done with the knob. Okay. <laughs> There's two more left. Two more, two more, two more. Yep. Okay, this one. You talk about this one. For the Scotch lovers, it's the Arbeg Dark Cove. If, if you know, you know about this one. This is the like, one that got me into whiskey. This is one of the earlier bottles I bought. Found it in Knoxville, Tennessee. Found a bottle. Tried it. I think I found a, heard about it from the Whiskey Vault. They were doing a review. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Found a bottle, bought it. Fell in love with it myself. And then... I was like, okay, I gotta find, I gotta buy it next time I see it, see another one. Found it in St. Louis, and I bought three bottles, three more bottles. <laughs> so this is, I think, our second. So we still have a couple more of these left. Good thing you did because yeah, it's that, so freaking good. It is so, so good. good. It's like the whiskey that got me into drinking whiskey. Yeah, it literally is. You guys know the story by now. It, if you haven't had a Dark Cove, seek one out. Get a pour somewhere. It is so good. If you're a scotch yes, lover. Yes, if, if you like peat and you like scotch. but It's so good. And the Kelpie, which is a whole different, it's, I think it came out the year after this is good, but Dark Cove. It's so good. But literally, like, this is the very first whiskey I tried, and I was like, I like that whiskey. Bill was gone out mm -hmm. of town. You guys know the story. Bill was gone out of town, and he's like, try whatever you want on my shelves. And I was dating him, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to like whiskey because he likes whiskey. And then, holy sh... Yep. Yep. Now I like whiskey, but like, yep. um, I saw this one, I tried it because I thought the bottle looks so Bottle's sexy. Awesome. The bottle's sexy. The matte black on black, yeah. Yeah, it's, awesome. it's sexy, and so I tried it, and it's I awesome. freaking loved it. That was the very first whiskey I tried that got me into whiskey. So, if you are out there, and you're thinking about trying whiskey, and you're new to whiskey... You're probably not going to find it. Yeah. You but might, you can try. If you if you can find this, and yeah. you like want to try to get someone into whiskey, and they might like a peat... Which, who knows? It's hard to know who's going to like peak because yep. it's like hit or miss. Yeah, I don't I, know. This is a good bottle. I brought some samples of this to Pours in the Park. Um, I think I gave Blake one. Uh, I think I drank, drank one of the samples with uh, Will Davilar. And then Matt Porter. Matt Porter got one too. So, yeah. Good Dark stuff. Cove. It's awesome. Oh my gosh. I just pulled out a whole bunch of my hair. It got stuck in my finger now. 
ADD. Okay. All right. Now we're 45 minutes to an hour into this video, and we're on the last bottle, finally. Finally, the last bottle! If you don't have this one, you're just wrong. You're wrong! Because this is our backup bottle of it. Rebel Root Beer. <laughs> I bet you thought we are going to bring out some, like, super fancy. This is bottle number 12. Rebel Root Beer. Rebel, it's, it's just Rebel Root Beer. A perfect beer. nightcap. If you like Root Beer, if you like Barrel if Root Beer If you've seen candy, our channel... You know, you know. You know this is our couch here. whiskey. Yeah. It's easy. It's, it's I couldn't great. find our bottle that's open. I think it's in a pile of stuff over there. And couldn't quite reach it. I could reach this one, so the non open bottle is open. We or love Rebel Root Beer. It's like less than twenty dollars. Yeah, I think we paid fifteen each time we bought it. It's good. Yep. It tastes good. If you like root beer, oh it goes also good with bourbon cream. Certain yeah, mix ones. a little bit of this and some bourbon cream. Oh, Certain root ones beer float. though, because some also like curdle. So Boone County curdles. I still haven't Bubble poured this on any up. ice cream, like vanilla ice cream. I still need to do that. That's a video. Yep. If you want to anyway. see that in a video, let us know. Anyway. Okay, anyhow. That's our 12. Tell us what your bottles that you like you bought and you were like, holy crap, I got to go rush to get a backup. Mm -hmm. I want to know. Like Bill wants to know. I want to know. We want to know what bottles you got really excited about as soon as you tried them. And we don't have any Buffalo Trace in this lineup. No Buffalo Trace. Weird. Yep. Huh. Yeah. Anyhow, so these were great <laughs> bottles, great pours, a lot of MGP in there. Yes. Did you fart? No, it was my shoe. Oh. My shoe got <laughs> It was literally my shoe. Well, it's in this video. My shoe's on the ottoman. Oh, my God. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for watching The Average Drinker. I'm Dara. And I'm Bill. <laughs> I'm The Average Drinker. I'm the above average drinker. <laughs> and we'll see you <laughs> next time.